Hi YouTubers, it's down in the motorhome today doing some work. It's now half past five at night and um, I got this come through in the post today when I was out. And it's another kit, electronics kit. This is another FM transmitter kit. And I'm trying to, uh, this one, slightly different design kit. I'm hoping it's going to be more stable. I've built one two I've built so far two radio FM transmitters an FM receiver an hourglass three hearts four hearts I should say and a power bank uh, but going back to the FM transmitters I found um, they're very unstable um, due to the circuit design I think and you've only got to move sort of one component, a very small, um, you know, just knock it and it can knock it off tune. And uh, so I thought I'd have a go with this one. But I have actually got another, on top of this one, I've got another FM uh, transmitter kit as well on its way. And also another FM receiver. But I thought I'd have a go at this one as it's a low cost kit. And um, I think it's going to be a simple case of inserting the resistors first and then putting the larger components in. In previous uh, videos and construction, I've put in the big things first, and this time I'm going to put the resistors in first and um, see how we get on with that. Like all these projects, there's no circuit information, circuit diagram, but um, it's it's quite easy. I don't know whether you notice there. There's one of those, one of those, five of those, and two of those resistors. So where there's five and they're in uh, taped together like that, they're all the same value. So you're looking from the board. Um, five components of the same values, and these are 10k. And let's see. Yeah, one, two, three, four. I see four slots. There's probably is five. Yes, there is five. There's five slots. Five ten k's marked. One, two. So they can go in the board because I know they're all ten k. And then I know there's only one of those. One of those. One of those. I've got to find those. All the resistors are in. And I bent the wires over so that they stop in place. And um, I'm using this, what's called a third hand. It's got a magnifying glass. I don't really use it that much, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, Jane uses it more for some of the work she does. But um, yeah, see if I can do some soldering. Okay, continuing on with this FM transmitter, this little one. Um, out of all the transmitter kits I've built so far, this has been the most stable one in terms of frequency. Um, on the others, you've only got to touch the board different places and it would change the frequency. This one, <coughs> because it's got a coil with a slug in it, which is 9 core ferrite core slug um, it seems very very stable unless you touch the coil and then it drifts off frequency take your finger away and it comes back um, the kit another low cost kit uh, it's a single sided printed circuit board so you can only solder it one side 
and it's not through hole plated. So it's a little bit more difficult to solder. The solder doesn't take so easily on this board as it has on the others. <coughs> and um, when I constructed it, I started with the resistors and then capacitors, coils, microphone, electrolytic capacitor, transistors, and it worked first time. Um, there's another low cost kit. Uh, it's a bigger board than the others and the components are more spaced out so that's probably why it's a little bit better but out of all the kits I've built this FM transmitter is the most stable and I quite like it um, but bad side is it's very very difficult to solder now for adjusting the frequency you need a pocklin tool, I think that's what they call them in Scotland, a trimmer tool, in Scotland I think they're called pocklers or something like that, and this is brass ended, some are copper, sorry that's my phone, some are copper and you don't want to put anything that steel onto the slug in, to adjust the frequency as it will make it drift when you're trying to tune it. Um, the microphone on this one is very sensitive better than the other one I've got and you can it's got a three and a half mil stereo socket but it transmits in mono it's not a stereo transmitter uh, so that's it for this video really I haven't showed you all the soldering and putting the components in and um, you know the soldering is not as neat because the solder doesn't go to the tracks I suppose if I'd had uh, clean the the tracks up a bit better with flux or something it might have soldered better but it didn't like this this solder I've got so thanks for watching please subscribe and like